What's the number one mistake guys make in a relationship? Next question, cheat. Why did you and your ex break up? Oh, dude, we're getting deep. Um, That's what we do. Well, well, he didn't cheat. I'll tell you that. What's the truth behind their breakup? I mean, look, Miko was a good boy. He was good. really nice. He, he was a good boy. Just think, I'm just gonna show up, be free, and that's enough. And they get mad when they get ghosted. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna ask that. Look, I'm sorry, but I was there. Not all girls are like right? that. Like, I really want to send you some beautiful women your way. You guys can say that, but I'm telling you that a lot of women think I just need to come on the date, be pretty, and that's enough, and I'm gonna keep this guy around. That's not the reality. Ever, well, I'm a woman, and I don't think that way. So I just want to let you know, not all women think that. Fantastic. You might feel that way, but you don't date women as a man. Myron has a point. He knows what he's talking about here. And at the end of the day, he did say most women, not all women. I know that lady keeps saying like, well, not me. I'm not type, that type of woman, not me. But he's saying most women. How long have you guys been dating for? A little over two years now. Do you guys think it's possible to have guy friends when you're in a relationship? I don't think so, guys. Just have different intentions. What do you think? I don't have a problem with it. Okay, so we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna pick a card from this game. They have some risky text in here, and basically, I'm gonna have you call one of your closest guy friends and see how they react. How does that sound? Sounds good. Let's do this thing. I got a question. Uh, shoot. Do you care if I sleep over tonight? My mom's, uh, like, been up my... I mean, yeah, probably, but, like, don't you got a boyfriend? Yeah, but, I mean, we're just friends, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my apartment's messy as I got cat hair all over the couch. And so, like, you probably have to, like, sleep in my room with me for real. Okay. All right, bet. All right. <laughs> See you later. Bye. What do you think? You know, I think it's just weird that, you know, he wants you to stay in his bed with him. Um, so could you just, like, block him now? No, that's so mean. He's my best friend. Now, those guys are definitely going to have an awkward ride home. I ain't got no kids. I got I got my own mo motion going on. Flag. Huh? What? Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. What was you about to say? Why the... Listen, I know, like, having... Where marriage is bad, but it's 2022. Like, what has gone on in your life that you have not had a kid? I don't have kids. You're different. Huh? Like, but for men, it's just kind of like, why don't you have a kid? What happens? Because I don't, I don't want a kid yet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm responsible. <laughs> What is she talking about? Obviously, this guy wants to find the right woman to settle down with and have a kid with, right? Maybe he wants to get married and then have a kid. People want to find the right person. They just don't want to have kids with multiple baby wives, baby mamas, right? Maybe some do, but at the end of the day, this guy doesn't. It shouldn't be a red flag, but this girl is clearly delusional. Okay. <laughs> now, help me make sense of this. You give her $1,000 a month for the children. You pay health insurance. You all have a split schedule. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm missing something. Like, what, what is the issue? Why are we here? Because I would think that you bring someone to child support court if they're not doing something. I do understand making it legal, putting it in a document, but you're asking for more money. So I'm trying to get the disconnect here. Like so I what it is, Your Honor? Women, she, he's spending money on. She never lets me talk, so. Okay, I'm going to let oh, you talk. Exactly. Okay. What it is, Your Honor, she's... Uh, she didn't mention this, but she's engaged. Wow. And she just found out that I'm recently dating, so now she's mad at me. Oh, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> want a guy, pretty much the man you described as a 1% man. I'm also a 1% woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a 1% woman. Uh, yeah, I'm a 1% woman. Um, being natural, my financial. That's my bag. I bought that. Put your stuff out. Go. Yeah, girl, you got me messed up. Don't move, man. Get, get out. Why? Get out. I'm my not gonna play with you, man. Get out. No, ain't no sorry, man. Get out. Get out the house. Get out the house. Bro, get out the house. Yes, get out the house. Leah Bear, I bought this. Get out, bro. Get out. Here, get your stuff. Get your stuff. Get out. And give me my bag. Give me my bag. That's my bag. I bought that. Here, take your gift stuff. Get out. Go. Get out. You gotta get out. Get out. Get out. Here, just all your stuff. Just all your stuff. Take your bag. Take your bag. Get your stuff out. Go. Yeah, take your stuff, man. Take your stuff. Get out. Get out. Here. Get out. You don't want to rush me out this house. Get out. Get out. Get out. No. I need to get my stuff. Go get out the house. Why? How does it make me get out the house and have all the stuff? Open the door. 
man, ain't going somewhere, man. Whatever she did, my man ain't having it. Send her back to the streets. Oh, oh is, that, is that you? No. Oh, is that not your boyfriend? Have you ever played hard to get for a guy you really liked? Yes. Why? Because initially I thought he only wanted me for one thing and that was just like to sleep with it and get it over with. Mm -hmm. So like I have this thing in my head where you play hard to get and if they, they're still chasing you to a certain point then you know that they, don't, they just don't want to sleep with you. Yeah, they want a deeper connection. So what do you think? So nice. Like, ah! <laughs> Baby, you were this close to being single. Look who, look, look, look at what my girlfriend got me for Valentine's Day, bro. Look. Look, 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 look. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, she love me. She, she love me. She love me. She's mine. We locked in. Dude's got a real one. She's definitely treating her man right. I just hope he's treating her the same. I saw this on hinge what percentage yeah, a, of men do you fun. think have yachts oh mm, like i don't know like yeah pretty low maybe nine <gasps> nine percent of men have on yachts hinge? you think nine percent of world. men have yachts is that you know what the most frustrating thing about dating is that people that aren't dating right now don't understand how tough it is to be in the trenches it's a job interview, one after another, after another, after another, for you to feel like you n don't feel for anybody. And every time you go out with somebody new, you're just like, God damn it, will I ever feel again? So the guys that you want don't want you, and the guys that want you, you don't want them. That is the situation, yes. God. Stop it. Get some help. Ladies, listen. If your man come home and he tell you he had a bad day at work, Boy, it's time for you to spit on it, sit on it, and make him forget it, okay? You damn near might even have to suck the upset up at him. Do you hear me? No, I think most men, uh, if they honestly admitted the way they really feel, uh, Valentine's Day is just no good. Well, how do you know that? I went around and I asked all my male co-workers in this building what they thought. What do you think of Valentine's Day? It's kind of, it's for the girls. I hate it. I, I can't stand it. It's, it's dumb. I think it's overrated. I think that it is a woman's attempt to get more gifts. <laughs> Colossal waste of time and money. I don't um, look forward to it. I don't uh, dread it. It's just kind of there. The lady remembers the guy who treats her right more than the guy who treats her right. Uh, the guy that treats her right. Why do you think that? Because it, like, gets, I don't know, makes you sentimental. Why did I got finish last? Why did I ask that to Because it's very hidden. It comes with the stuff that's like, I want hairlessness. I want... Mm -hmm. A guy who has a preference for a girl who, like, is shaved or has shaved her legs general. or is pedophilic? No, because it's that's when you crazy. Deep down to it, it's like, where do you see people who have no hair? Like, actually, naturally, it's so what kids. About, what about a woman who prefers a guy who shaves? That, down there like could it, that, that could just be say like oh i don't want like body hair that's way me. more of an of obvious preference that guys have towards women than women ever have I've towards guys i've never heard a girl i've never heard a guy say, that. I mean, like a girl say, say that. that like being like oh if a guy has hair no way but i've had heard guys i mean just talk why, think about why, why do you guys have to like it's so funny whenever men have preferences standards or boundaries it's almost always met with this like vicious sh <laughs> Hey, sweetie. I swear you love this place, don't you? As much as you do. I'm gonna go. So this girl says she will ask her best friend out of 10 years to be her boyfriend. And if he rejects her, she's gonna go live on TikTok. And she ended up going live. So you know what happened, man. A few moments later. Thank God. I'm not dwelling over no man. Like I said, it's a blessing in disguise. Ladies, we up this summer. Trust, focus on you this summer. Do not shoot your shot at these men. Don't shoot your shot. Why him shoot his shot if you want to? But focus on yourself. If he's the one. That Stupid. Stupid. What's the worst Valentine's Day gift you've ever received? I was hiding at home as a surprise. He brought another girl home instead. <laughs> Yeah, that's horrible, yeah. but don't surprise me with <laughs> nothing. 
a set of PJs that was size 20 and was size 12 to 14, he said it'd be more comfy. So what he's saying is, I know you wear 12 to yeah, 14, yeah. the imprints in your skin are yeah. telling me. Yeah. <laughs>